Graham, what are your emotions after that? It must be difficult to take. Uh, mixed emotions, really, because there's bitterness at getting beat, um, but immense pride in the, the way the team, the well, the squad performed tonight. Because um, difficult venue, difficult uh, team to play against opponent, um, put ourselves or got ourselves in the right hole at 2 0 down. But the courage and endeavour and ability from that point onwards was, was absolutely fantastic. And, uh, Deservedly got back on level terms with two two great goals, and at that point I thought there was only one winner, and and we kept knocking, kept knocking, but unfortunately we just couldn't get that that third goal to see us over the line. Went close a couple of times, um, and obviously it went to penalties, and unfortunately, uh, you know, um, Hibs came out on top. Yeah, just to talk through the game, Hibs's first goal is a lesson to be learned from how we started the second half. It wasn't ideal. Mm. No, look, I think um, the the first half we 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 wanted to keep them at arm's length from our goal. Um, we were aware of their, their many goal scoring threats, uh, which we did. I don't think they had a shot on target, um, but we wanted them to just step it up a little bit in, in the possession type, uh, terms and, and attacking terms. But we, we did the opposite and, and sort of went backwards and allowed them really easy possession into our final third. And it's a basic goal we should defend better. The, the second goal, you know, it's offside, uh, but we have to. Uh, go on from that and we did and we recovered really well that's the the biggest thing you know we didn't feel sorry for ourselves it could have been really easy to to capitulate at that point but you know the boys showed immense heart and, and togetherness and, and the togetherness of, of all the, the players was something that um, really impressed me and, and made me um, really confident in what what's to come. When it gets to the penalties, you must have sympathy for the boys who missed, and it, it takes a lot of courage to step up and take them in the shootout like that. Yeah, I think um, I, 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 it's not a lottery. It's a, it's a game of skill and and uh, ability and, and uh, you know, sort of composure. And um, but the biggest thing is courage to step up. And and you know there, there wasn't one player that um, declined the offer to take a penalty. They were all up for it. They all wanted to be a part of it. And um, unfortunately, on occasions like this, someone has to miss. You hope it's going to be one of the opposition. Um, but unfortunately, it was us tonight. But now, look, I've been there myself. I've, I've missed big penalties in, in, in semi finals and finals. So, you know, um, but the biggest thing is when, when the opportunity comes around next, those boys should be ready to step up again because um, we put them there because we're confident in them. Uh, it doesn't always go your way, um, but the ability to bounce back and go again is, is the biggest thing. And I know those guys will come again. Yeah, do you have to pick the boys up or do they take spirit from the comeback that they did manage? Um, look, we, uh, I, don't, I don't think we'll have to pick them up because look, we're, we're professionals and we want to win and we want to be in the semi-final. So from that perspective, we've got to lick our wounds a little bit. But the players know how well we've come to you know, one of the best teams in Scotland and for large periods dominated the play and, and scored goals. Just like when we came here uh, a few weeks ago and won. So the, the ability and the... The capabilities to win big games is there. Um, we just got to produce it on a consistent basis over the course of ten months. Thank you, Graham. Cheers.